from what I remember reading, like even um, I think there was about a, a dozen women in in your graduating class and they were going to be trial lawyers. But today you're not the only one that's just a trial lawyer. I think you're the only one that's still practicing law. Right. So I'm just curious, you know, why do you believe that is? For women of my age and vintage, um, you couldn't play sports, Michael. There, there weren't any there was no sports for women when I was growing up. Um, not soccer, not anything, you know, and, um, what sports teaches you is how to lose. And the only place that women competed as I was growing up was in the classroom where if you studied hard enough, you got an A. And so what happened is many of the women that I went to law school with that were going to be trial lawyers quit after they lost their first case because they thought it was them that they hadn't worked hard enough or hadn't done it right. When in fact, if you've played sports like I got to do, because I just said I'm playing, I don't care, I'm going to play sports, you learn that losing isn't always your fault. In fact, a lot of times the wind blows the wrong way, the ref gives a bad call, you know, that, that, and then you lose some, and then you get up the next morning and you go on. So you learn how to lose from sports. And, and one of the really encouraging things, and why I think we're finally starting to see women come into the profession, is that women coming up now have played sports and know how to lose. You know, know how to win, but know how to lose too. And, and if you're going to try cases, you're going to lose some, you know. Um, and and you got to be able to do that and then get up the next day and go on. 